To perform a gravity analysis of your pipe network, you must first assign the correct properties to each of the structures in the pipe network. This can be done in the structure properties, or can be done in a later step using the Analyze Gravity Network tabular editor. On the Part Properties tab, locate the gutter details. If the structures in your design are located along the flow line of a roadway, input the design details into these fields. These values can vary slightly for each structure, but the default values for each variable can be defined in the feature settings. Under the part data, select the proper structure type and part dimensions for your design. This information is important if you plan to analyze the inlets in your pipe network. When you are all set, click OK. You can repeat these steps for the other structures in your pipe network, or you can finish updating the network details in a later step. To analyze the flows for your drainage design, you need to define the catchment areas and flow paths for each water intake, or provide a known flow value for each structure. To define these tributary areas for runoff and collection, you can use the CAD geometry, a design surface, or you can manually input the information. To leverage CAD geometry, you'll need to first create the catchment group, shown here in the Prospector tool space. Once the catchment group has been created, you can add your catchments. Using the contextual tools from the Prospector, select Create Catchment from Object. Following the command prompts, pick the closed polyline that defines the catchment area. Then select the polyline on the furthest most uphill point. This will be used to calculate the flow path and length for the catchment. Provide an intuitive name for the catchment. Maybe include the inlet that the catchment will drain to. To select the structure that you want the catchment to drain to, use the Pick on Screen button to pick the structure from your drawing. If you know the runoff coefficient for the area, enter that value, then click OK. The new catchment will appear in the prospector. To define the flow path parameters, Expand the catchment and edit the flow path that was defined for the catchment. Specify the surface type and slope for the flow path. This will be used to calculate the time of concentration for the catchment. When you're all set, dismiss the panorama and save your drawing file. To perform the analysis on the pipe network, on the Analyze tab in the ribbon, select Analyze Gravity Network. Following the command prompts, Pick a part from your pipe network. In the dialog, select which options you want to analyze. You can select any option or multiple options. Select which structure from your pipe network you want to use as the outfall. The structure type that you select should be an outfall, and it cannot have any outgoing pipes. Toggle whether you want to hold the invert elevation, as it currently exists, or if you want the analysis to reset this. Select the tailwater condition that you want applied to the outfall. Then choose the rainfall data to use. Select a local rainfall data file for your project, along with the return period that you want to analyze. If needed, you can input the rainfall data into the intensity table and save it for your analysis. In the settings, you can define the analysis parameters and CAD settings for the energy and hydraulic grade lines. And lastly, to review and or edit any of the network details for your pipe network, you can use the tabular editor. The same structure properties, catchment and flow details that you entered previously, can be reviewed or entered here. Entering any of the network details in this table will update the structure properties in your pipe network. You can change the structure type at each junction in the pipe network. Change the inlet location, whether it's in SAG or on grade, Set the bypass catchment for overflow, input known flows, and edit the area and runoff coefficient for each structure. If the calculated time of concentration is less than the minimum TOC used in the settings, a warning will notify you that the minimum will be used. Once you have all the network details updated for your pipe network, you can complete the analysis. In the analysis results, you can view each structure and or pipe individually. Graphical cues, like the arrows next to the pipe diameter column, will let you know if the pipe should be resized, or if a rule is in violation, like the minimum slope. 
Selecting each pipe and or structure will load its full details into the display window on the right. To preview the resulting pipe grades and the energy or hydraulic grade lines, you can use the profile button. Following the cursor prompts, pick the profile view in your drawing that you want to preview the results on. The analysis and proposed pipe grades will be temporarily displayed in the view so you can compare and contrast the differences. To apply the new pipe sizes and pipe slopes to your pipe network, click the Apply button. To get a report of the analysis, click the Report button. Pick a location and file name for your report, and click Save to view the report.